Hello, brothers and sisters. I hope you are doing well. And so today I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I hope you are spending more time in a prayer and worship in seeking the holy face of our Lord Jesus Christ on a daily basis these last days we are living in because that is how you are going to get close to him your personal relationship with him matters without a personal relationship with him you don't know him and he does not know you either the Lord desires a personal relationship with each of us and this is why you must seek the Lord while he may be found because he is the only one who is going to save you in the coming days time is very, very short amen Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven there is no other way John 14 verse 6 Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it does not matter which religion you belong to. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, you are not saved. Whoever does not believe that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life will not enter the kingdom of God. If you die today without having given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you are not saved. And so, if you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now, receive and accept him as your God and Savior, believe and repent all your sins, then get baptized of water and spirit before it is too late. Unless you are born again, you will not enter the kingdom of God. God does not wish anyone to perish. Amen. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. God does not wish that any shall perish, but that all shall come to repentance. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins might be brought it out so that times of refreshing might come from the presence of the Lord. Jesus Christ is God and Savior of all mankind. Whoever will call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Amen. Brothers and sisters, seek the Lord and be saved. Time is very, very short. Before I go through the message of today, I want to share with you a few scriptures from the Lord which have a message regarding the timing we are living in. First Thessalonians 5 verse 3 and 4 For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman but you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day shall overtake you as a thief. Matthew 24, verse 40 to 42. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. 
two women will be grinding at the meal. One will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. These scriptures are a reference to the rapture, brothers and sisters. Of course, nobody knows the day what Yahweh except God alone, and this is why the scripture tells us to watch, pray, and be ready every day. Also, you might consider that you might die today. If you die and you sin, you are not saved. And so, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Humble yourself before him and repent all your sins before it is too late. Repentance means turn away from your sin. Go and sin no more. The Lord has a message for all of us. You must choose to submit to God or continue your rebellion against Him. But I have to say that, unfortunately, Revelation 6 from verse 15 to 17 and Revelation 16, verse 9 and 11 tells us that most will choose rebellion against God. I hope you choose to submit to God, brothers and sisters. Daniel 9, from verse 24 to 27, those who are watching and paying attention to what is going on around us, especially in Middle East, know that this prophecy is about to come to pass. Daniel 9, verse 27, talks about a confirmation of a covenant with many for one week, and this is about the seven-year tribulation brothers and sisters, the Lord talked about the coming reign of the Antichrist described in Revelation 13. Luke 21 verse 20 says, But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then you know that his desolation is near. This is happening right now, brothers and sisters. I hope you take time to read and study the Holy Scriptures in order to understand what is going on now, what is about to happen, and how you should sure prepare. If you have no time to read your Bible and seek the Lord, you are lost and you will be left behind. But if you are watching right now, it is not too late. Just seek the Lord Jesus Christ and give him your life before it is too late. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord which I received four times, four times, brothers and sisters. This never happened before. This message is very important because it is about what is about to happen. 
the Lord also gave me a few scriptures which will help you to understand this message, brothers and sisters. He wants always you to study all these scriptures, pray and seek him for discernment and understanding. And so the Lord said to me, tell my people the sword of the Lord, the famine and pestilence are coming on the nations. The Lord said to me, tell my people the sword of the Lord. The famine and pestilence are coming on the nations. This is God's judgment on the nations, brothers and sisters. He gave me Jeremiah 14, Ezekiel 7, Isaiah 24, Zephaniah chapter 1, and Amos chapter 8. I am only going to read Isaiah 24, verse 19 and 20, and Amos 8, verse 11. And I hope you take time yourself, study all these scriptures, pray and seek the Lord for discernment and understanding. Isaiah 24, verse 19 and 20. The earth is violently broken. The earth is spirit open. The earth is shaken exceedingly. The earth shall reel too and flow like a drunkard and shall totter like a heart. Its transgression shall be heavy upon it, and it will fall, and not rise again. Amos 8 verse 11, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine of the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Understand that the Lord talked about two types of famine that are about to happen. The first one is of bread and the second famine is of hearing the words of God. And I believe the famine of hearing the words of God will happen after the rapture because once the rapture happened, the Holy Spirit and the church will be gone. I believe that this judgment will be in the time of the great tribulation. You might see Matthew 24 verse 21 and 22. And this will immediately precede the second coming of Jesus Christ. Matthew 24 verse 29 and 20. I hope you understand the difference between the second coming of Jesus Christ and the rapture. The rapture must happen before the seven year tribulation and the second coming of Jesus Christ will happen after the seven year tribulation. 
many will die in the judgment of the great tribulation. You might read Revelation 9 from verse 15 to 21 in order to understand what is going to happen. All nations will be judged, brothers and sisters. The Lord is said that man has defiled the earth with his sin and great weakness. And so the earth must endure God's judgment as well. The Lord God is calling everyone who is listening to this message now to honor him, work right with and in obedience to him in order to escape all these things that will come to pass. I'm going to read Jeremiah 26 verse 13 and this is from the Lord for all of us. Now therefore amount your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God. Then the Lord will relent concerning the doom that he has pronounced against you. I am going to read another scripture. And this is Ezekiel 20, verse 7. Then I said to them, each of you, throw away the abominations which are before his eyes and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Brothers and sisters, without obedience, no one will see the Lord. Remember holiness and righteousness matter in order to be taken in the rapture. Hebrews 12 verse 14 says, pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. I am going to talk about what is to be born again. The Lord said that many claim to be born again, but by their lifestyle, they deny him. Luke 6 verse 46 to 49 and John chapter 3 from verse 5 to 10. Brothers and sisters, when you claim you are born again, you cannot sin. First John chapter 3 verse 9 Whoever has been born of God does not sin for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Matthew 7 verse 21 and 23 Jesus himself says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. 
These are not my words, brothers and sisters. First John chapter 3, verse 6. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. And so, um, when you are truly born again, you cannot sin. Of course, I'm not saying that believers in Jesus Christ don't ever sin, because First John chapter one verse eight says, "If." We say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Only Jesus Christ is sinless, but not keep sinning when you are saved is the word of God, not mine. I hope you understand this message, brothers and sisters. Please share this message with our brothers and sisters and let's keep our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus Christ because we are very very close to the rapture and the tribulation let's pray Heavenly Father in his son his name Jesus Christ have mercy on us and on the whole world Amen God bless you brothers and sisters.